You're kidding, right? You would never launch an attack on Riley. It's not an attack on Riley, really. It's a way to create reasonable doubt. By pointing the finger at him? In a tactical sense, in a strategic way, yes, I guess that's what you'd call it. Look, he's not on trial. He'll be fine. No, he won't. You know, I'm doing my best to keep you out of prison. I would appreciate it if you wouldn't let your feelings for Ryan get in the way of that. I need your help, Dorothy. Can't cut your tongue? Well, I am just shocked to hear those words come out of your mouth. And please don't make me say them again. Well, you're certainly going to have to say a lot more than that. I mean, if I agree to partner with you on this, you're going to have to make it worth my while. We both know how valuable I am to Cortland. So if you want me, pitch me. Make it good. Get away from me. No, we have to figure this out. We have to find out what Caleb and Erica I know. How do I always end up getting stuck with you? You're acting like you don't have a choice. You always have don't a choice. Don't tell me about choices, JR. I know what I've done. I know I let you get to me. How I let everything that matters to me go just so I could hop in bed with you. God, it's... Don't worry. At least this time you both have your clothes on. I realize that you're angry. We are, we are all angry. But we have to put that aside for now. If something happened, something big has happened, we have to work together to deal with it. Together? Yeah. Just like old times, right? Cause... Oh, come on. This is serious. Tell him. <sighs> Annie! Erica stopped by earlier. At first she acted all friendly, and then she dropped the bomb. Caleb overheard. He heard J.R. saying that you stole from a dead man, and they know that it was Palmer. Did you hear what she said? I need cash. What? What? What, are you fleeing the country? No, that'd make things way too easy for you. It's also possible that they know what, what was stolen. The nanotechnology, I mean, we don't know for sure, no, That's but... gotta be a bluff. They only know one little part, and that's it. Yeah, J.R. could be right. But we can contain it. Right. We, we just have to keep in mind that we are the only ones who know what really happened. Everyone should know what happened. What? What are you talking about? Ian, what is he talking? He's talking about us. Scott, move on. Look, everything is at stake right now. Chandler Enterprises, this family. Annie and I, we both know that. Do you? Pitch you? Oh, what? Now I've got to beg. Talent like mine is in very high demand. Certainly I have to know that I'd be appreciated. Okay, how about a dozen red roses on your desk every morning? How's oh, that? Oh, hardly. No. I am about to take time away from planning a wedding to a man who's made me blissfully happy for months now. If you expect me to take time away from that, time away from him, I need to know I'm appreciated. Right, why don't you just tell me what you want? For starters, I want a peaceful work environment. I'll leave my shotgun at home. I need to know that we are going to have a collaborative process. That we are going to discuss ideas and move ahead on them together as a team. Anything else? Yes. I really need to know what I'm getting into with you. Meaning? I know you were a brilliant lawyer. And you certainly look the part now. But you've been out of the game for a long time. I'm back in it now. And you're not going anywhere? I mean, when things get tough, you're not suddenly going to hear the call of the mountains? This is my calling. Do we have a deal? 
Where do I sign? Right there. Nah, put it there. For real. Come on. Okay. Okay. Back to business now. It's time to push the Chandlers. Junior's the one we gotta go after. He's not gonna roll over. I'll roll him over. We can get to JR, but we have to do that by getting to the people around him. His employees, his underlings, a weak link. Do you know anyone like that? There's this kid Asher the Junior hired. He came here under the pretense of helping Miranda with her computer. He used Miranda? Yeah, a couple of weeks ago. Hit me over the head, knocked me out. He attacked you? Mm. You know, if this Asher person is as, as, as deep inside Chandler Corporation as you say, he may just be the target. And I bet we can turn him. Maybe. Way back when Caleb had to make choices. I didn't agree with most of them. I still don't. But it's time you discovered where you come from. One day you'll find yourself reunited with the family you lost. Hi, I'll, uh, I'll be out of your way in a minute. I do, how many t-shirts can one little boy have? Crazy. If that's like a real question, I think the answer is thousands because his mom can't walk by a store without buying at least six. Yeah. Is something wrong, aside from Spike's overabundance of wardrobe choices? Uh, I just walked out of a meeting with our PR department. Actually, stormed out is more like it. What's going on? Well, uh, I got this. Tons of emails from news outlets from all over the world. Requests for interviews. They want to do a story on fusion. And not about our latest line of lipstick. Or not when one of the co-owners is on trial for murder. Right? Yeah, yeah, somebody actually told me today that they think Greenlee should step down temporarily. I almost fired her right on the spot. You should have fired her. Fusion is Greenlee's baby. It's just one of the reasons why it's so successful. Right, yes, but the scandal could hurt business. I remember when everyone thought my mother was stealing from a charity, the SEC shut us down. Okay, well, if, if, if we could get through that and, and so much more, we can come back again. But how do I convince my staff? They're all worried about losing their jobs. You just tell them, tell all of them that Greenlee is innocent. Why do you sound so confident? Because she's got Jackson. Jackson is going to clear her, okay? And then after that, we're all good. Brian is free to live his life, to be with his kids. Don't ruin that. You know we're running out of time. And we're running out of options. You have a substantial case against you, really. I believe in you. I believe that you can get me off without dragging Ryan into this. Yeah, but that's my job, isn't it? That's your lawyer. That's your father. I promise you I'm not going to lose you again. Well, I'm innocent. You can prove it. If you tie my hands... Everyone has forgotten about Ryan as a suspect. Really? Don't remind them. You think Liza's forgotten? I don't Ryan care about Liza. Well, maybe, Greenlee. Do you care about this? ABC's. I guess I think this of myself, too. Honey, don't start that. These people are just trying to sell papers. Well, I married David. Next thing you know, he's dead, and I'm doing everything I can to keep Ryan safe. Look, I know. It's a great deal more complicated than that. Maybe I should just call the papers and hold a big press conference. No, I wouldn't advise that. Well, they all have their theories. They're all whispering. Maybe I should just get in their faces and say what I want to say. And what would that be? That I hate this. I hate that David is dead. And I had a life with Ryan that was ripped away from me, and a life with David that could never be what he wanted it to be. 
But David was a tortured man who couldn't help but self destruct. And despite everything he did, I miss him. I miss him almost as much as the life I had in front. It's trash. It's all trash. Jackson will do everything he can to get Greenlee acquitted. But come on, a trial? That's a trial is a gamble. Uh, Twelve strangers deciding your fate? Greenlee did not kill David, so... Well, don't you wonder who did? You know what, right now I think we should just focus on clearing Greenlee first. Okay, you know what? The boys are waiting for me, so this PR mess is... This is gonna have to wait. I've gotta do this. Pontarelli. The shoe designer? Yeah, yeah. A, a few months back, I read this article about him. And I, I don't really remember all the details, but the company was doing great when all of a sudden this horrible rumor surfaced that could have ruined them. But I, I don't know, they came up with some kind of brilliant strategy to beat the gossip machine at its own game. I could do a little bit of research, talk to PR, if it's okay with you. Yeah. Yes, yes, it is more than okay. Okay. Yes, thank you, Madison. Please, just let me know what you come up with. I will. Okay, see I'll you see later. you later. Yes. See you Look out for that. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> okay, see you there. Wow. She is really something. Yeah, she is something. She's pretty amazing for a lot of reasons. One of which that she understands. I gotta see this through. With Greenlee, I gotta help her get through this. You know, it hasn't been easy. We all want it over. And Greenlee is cleared. Will it be easier for you? Or harder? Maybe this spy of JR's, this Asha person, has even done other dirty work for JR. Possibly even involving that theft. It's worth pursuing. I will talk to him. Yo, Caleb Cortland? That's me. Sign here. What do we got here? Thank you. Have a good day. You too. What is it? Oh, yes. This is the perfect excuse for me to pay Junior a visit. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> How could I not be? I'm surrounded by my loving family. You're on your own. No, please, please. You please. can't just walk out. This is everything. Yes, it was. 